In this video, we're exploring the intriguing filming locations of Amazon's hit show, Reacher. Fans can't get enough of the show's mysterious Margrave, Georgia, craving to peel back the layers of what's fiction versus reality. While the sleepy southern town doesn't exist on any map, the true landscapes that bring the series to life lie within Ontario, Canada. From the charming streets of Port Perry to the dramatic walls of Kingston Penitentiary, join us as we reveal the enchanting locales behind Reacher's suspenseful narrative and dissect why Canada's scenery steals the spotlight. Don't forget to hit subscribe before we kick off this cinematic journey into the heart of Reacher's mystery. Number 6. Kingston Penitentiary, Ontario. Reacher's Imprisonment. In the gripping world of Reacher, our intrepid hero is thrust behind bars in the fictional town of Margrave, Georgia, for a crime he didn't commit. This pivotal moment, however, unfolds not in the American South, but within the formidable walls of Kingston Penitentiary in Ontario. This historic prison, which has transitioned from a maximum security facility to a captivating museum, serves as the perfect stand-in, adding a layer of authenticity to the high-stakes drama. The scene is set with Officer Roscoe Conklin, portrayed with a mix of authority and intrigue processing Reacher in a manner that's as uncompromising as the prison itself. Kingston Penitentiary's storied past and its current role as a window into the evolution of Canada's penal system provide a compelling backdrop to Reacher's fight for justice. For fans and true crime enthusiasts alike, a visit to this iconic location offers a unique opportunity to step into the shoes of their favorite character, bridging the gap between the fictional world of Reacher and the tangible history of Ontario. Number 5. The Lakeview Restaurant, Toronto, Reacher's Arrest As the curtain rises on the suspenseful saga of Reacher, our first encounter with the enigmatic hero is in the quaint setting of a diner in Margrave, Georgia. Yet the real-life stage for this crucial scene is the Lakeview Restaurant, a beloved Toronto landmark known for its round-the-clock service and eclectic menu. Situated at 1132 Dundas Street W, this diner not only anchors a key moment of the series but also embodies the essence of its setting with authenticity and charm. This pivotal scene where Reacher is abruptly arrested mid-pie sets the tone for the mysteries to unfold. It's here we glimpse the core of Reacher's character, considerate and environmentally aware, yet unwittingly on the brink of a deep conspiracy. The Lakeview restaurant, doubling as a diner in Memphis, becomes a crossroads of fate for Reacher and his ally Francis Neagley, marking the beginning of a journey rife with intrigue and suspense. Accessible and inviting, the Lakeview offers fans and foodies alike the chance to step into a piece of the Reacher universe, nestled in the heart of Toronto. Number 4. Maple Leaf Motel, Scarborough, Reacher Dances with Roscoe. In a tender interlude amidst the suspense of Reacher, Season 1 reveals the budding chemistry between Jack Reacher and Officer Roscoe Conklin. Finding themselves stranded by floodwaters and ensconced in the anonymity of a roadside motel, the duo shares a moment that fans have deemed among the series most memorable. As Reacher hesitates, claiming he doesn't dance, Roscoe counters with a playful challenge, invoking the timeless Patsy Cline as irresistible accompaniment. It's a scene that beautifully captures the complexity of their relationship, underscored by the legendary singer's tunes. This poignant scene unfolds not in the steamy south, but within the walls of the Maple Leaf Motel in Scarborough, Ontario. Far from the fictional Georgia, this real location anchors a pivotal moment of connection and potential romance in the series. The Maple Leaf Motel, known for its accessibility and charm, provides a stark contrast to the intense narrative that surrounds it. For those tracing the footsteps of Reacher, the motel offers a tangible piece of the series' journey. Nestled on the outskirts of Toronto and easily reached by the city's comprehensive public transport system. Number 3. Stratford Suburban Motel, Ontario. Reacher beats up three punks. In an explosive turn of events that defines the gritty essence of Reacher, our hero finds himself in a darkened parking lot, facing off against three would-be assailants. This scene, emblematic of Reacher's formidable prowess and unyielding spirit, occurs in the seemingly tranquil setting of the Stratford Suburban Motel in Ontario. 
Far removed from the steamy streets of Margrave, Georgia, this location becomes the unexpected arena for a confrontation that leaves the attackers with nothing but broken wrists and bruised egos. The aftermath of the brawl prompts Officer Roscoe to wonder what the hell just rolled into Margrave, signaling the intense and unpredictable journey that lies ahead. While the Stratford Suburban Motel might appear serene, wrapped in its lush green gardens on the town's outskirts, its selection as the backdrop for such a pivotal scene underscores the series' ability to blend the ordinary with the extraordinary. Just a stone's throw from Stratford's cultural heart, the motel offers an accessible slice of Reacher's thrilling narrative, inviting fans to explore the real locations behind the show's high-octane action. Number 2. Piano Inn and Café, Port Perry, Reacher's Fight in the Café Port Perry's Piano Inn and Café, nestled at 217 Queen Street, sets the stage for one of Reacher's most confrontational moments. In a series where fists often do the talking, a heated exchange in this local diner escalates quickly, culminating in a physical altercation that cements Reacher's no-nonsense approach to justice. Unlike the serene encounter over pie in Toronto, this fight, a deliberate setup leading to another arrest, unfolds in the heart of Port Perry, a town that adeptly mirrors the southern charm and tension of Margrave, Georgia. The scene, charged with intensity and witnessed by the town's inhabitants, highlights Reacher's unwavering principle. Bad people should get what's coming to them. No apologies. This moment not only deepens the plot, but also solidifies Reacher's role as the relentless force against injustice. The Piano Inn and Café, with its quintessential small-town ambiance, becomes more than just a backdrop. It's a pivotal crossroads in the narrative, inviting fans to step into a setting where fiction and reality converge amidst the scenic beauty of Port Perry. Number 1. Perry and Queen Street's Port Perry – Reacher's Conversation with Roscoe In the quiet yet evocative streets of Port Perry, specifically at the intersection of Perry and Queen, Reacher delivers a moment of vulnerability and revelation between its protagonists. Following a series of tumultuous events, including a dance to Patsy Cline and a series of altercations, Reacher and Roscoe find themselves outside Roscoe's house, delving into the complexities of their pasts and plotting their next moves. It's here that Reacher's stark declaration, I'm going to need a gun, hints at the impending storm they're about to face together. This intimate exchange set against the backdrop of Port Perry's charming streets mirrors the essence of Margrave, Georgia, with an authenticity that transcends the screen. The real-life Perry and Queen Streets, lined with small independent shops and a palpable community spirit, serve as a perfect stand-in for the show's southern setting. This scene not only deepens the narrative, but invites fans to walk the same paths as their beloved characters, offering a tangible connection to the fictional world of Reacher. In exploring these streets, viewers are transported directly into the heart of the story, where every step retraces the journey of Reacher and Roscoe. Outro. As we've journeyed through the on-screen landscapes Reacher calls home, we've traversed more than just miles. We've navigated the fine line between fiction and tangible reality between the quaint southern charm of Margrave and the versatile Canadian locales that brought Lee Child's world to vivid life. From Toronto's bustling streets to the quiet allure of Port Perry, Ontario has donned the guise of the American South with commendable conviction, offering up a seamless blend of small-town sincerity and epic tales of vigilante justice. So, as we roll credits on our digital tour, it's clear that while Margrave, Georgia, may not be found on any map, the spirit of Reacher's adventures has been indelibly imprinted on the Canadian towns and cities that stand in for this fictional haven. Ontario's contribution to the southern small-town genre is nothing short of remarkable, reshaping our expectations and challenging preconceived notions of place and setting in cinematic storytelling. For those die-hard Reacher fans seeking to walk the paths of their enigmatic hero, or for any who revel in uncovering the behind-the-scenes magic of TV's thrilling tales, Ontario's embrace of the South is a testament to the universal allure of storytelling and the boundless possibilities of the places it can take us. And with that controversial yet compelling sentiment, Ontario's role as the real-life Margrave earns its standing ovation. Don't forget to subscribe to Globe Trekking for more cinematic journeys and behind-the-scenes explorations of your favorite shows and films.
And if you've ever dreamed of stepping inside the world of a beloved series, be sure to check out our next video, where we uncover more hidden filming locations that double as iconic fictional settings. Until then, keep trekking and keep imagining.